Hi, I'm Pat Neiman with Seven Brick Studios on YouTube, and this is my display. It depicts a jungle on an alien planet, and it's divided into two halves. We have the human half and the alien half. Right here is the alien half. We have a village. We have a number of houses. This is effectively like a research base where the aliens, they live here, of course. This is their planet. They're doing research on the biology, uh, biochemistry of the forest. And these are their residences, have some paths, have some bridges. And then further along here, we have the buildings where they actually work. Smaller building over there is uh, effectively their research station where they do their biological research. They capture specimens, look at plants. And again, we just have this jungle surrounding it, which is what they're studying. It's uh, the forest and the plain, essentially. This over here is their main scientific research station for the larger area. Not just the jungle, this is like a science hub for their hypothetical uh, civilization that they have here. And interconnecting everything is a series of paths. Uh, they have a series of um, uh, speeders that they use to get around on land and water. They have smaller stations of uh, floral research. They all survive on little water droplets, uh, water buckets that they have here as sustenance, and those are scattered throughout the, uh, the buildings. And what are the, the alien figs you've used here? When are those from? The alien figures are from the Life on Mars theme, which was early 2000s, I believe 2001. Okay. And uh, over here, we have a big canyon, big river, and over here is a uh, human spaceship, which has kind of had a rough landing. And since then, the humans have detached parts of their spaceships and are now living in those as houses. They've set up a wind farm, and they have just been exploring this area. However, they have not yet had contact with the aliens. They're trying to figure out a way to get home or maybe a way to establish themselves. Yeah, so you mentioned this great canyon that kind of divides the aliens from the humans right now. How, how did this kind of come together? Because you've got some, some great rock work going through here. I was actually originally planning on having a really tall mountain, even higher than what you see here, uh, but I think it wasn't going to work for transportation, and I thought, how else can we have it divided? And I, I had all these rock pieces, and I decided that a canyon would be a pretty visually interesting piece of geography. It definitely is. So then, if you can talk a little bit more about the spaceship as well, and what was your kind of design process for that? I just thought about how I could integrate a pretty, pretty recognizable, but also unique spaceship. I worked with a lot of Technic framework inside to produce some of the angles, did a lot of geometry, and I definitely wanted to uh, make sure that it made sense for the human uh, houses to be separable from that. And I, I felt that was also a good opportunity to use lots of greebling in the exposed areas, which is something to kind of make it a more interesting project to look at. Yeah. Very impressive. So one thing obviously you notice when you first walk up here is all these different trees. So what are the different types of designs there and how did those come together for you? Well, I have really, I guess, three primary kinds of plants. I have the red and purple shorter trees and the orange taller trees. And uh, I have some smaller shrubs as well. Really, I was just looking at how to combine something that was clearly alien, clearly not something you'd find on Earth, but also something that would, uh, would look good, wouldn't look too childish. So I did that. I looked into what pieces I could use, uh, what kinds of leaf colors were available that were not too, too expensive, went from there. Yeah, and it gives a perfect kind of alien planet look to it all. So I think it, was, it works really well. I also love the pieces you used on the outside of these alien buildings here. Uh, what's the combination of pieces of that cool textured look? Yeah, that was really determined. I found those pieces on the pick-a-brick wall, and I thought, uh, what a great way to make these buildings different from anything else on Earth. So it's really simple, actually. I used some snot studs not on top techniques to uh, set some plates on, these, on their sides, and I just covered all over with these one-by-two curved tiles. And it, and it turns out great. So this is an absolutely massive build here. Do you know uh, the dimensions of this? It is 70 by 200 inches, so 5 feet 10 inches by 16 feet 8 inches. 
That's incredible. When you first started on this, did you plan for it to be this big, or how, do, how was the original kind of idea process working for you? I was initially unsure of whether I would have the time or money to build the whole thing. I was thinking maybe I'll build half of it, but I decided to go for it. I had essentially a general idea, but I went through many different iterations of my geography and you know where to put a lake, where to put buildings, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, before I actually built. And then you've built up much of it as well, which is also impressive. So is there a lot of filler brick on the inside? What's that look like? I do use some filler brick, but really uh, it's, it's, it's not perhaps this most uh, sturdy creation. But uh, of course, I really couldn't spend thousands and thousands of dollars having a solid framework. And this was good enough for the transportation. It looks like you got it here in roughly one piece. What was set up like for you? Uh, setup was very challenging. Uh, I, I transport this in 11 segments on large wooden boards. We had a 35-foot U-Haul truck. Uh, nothing went terribly wrong, but again, just sliding on and off the boards, all that was difficult. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you were able to get it all here to the show. It's, it's really impressive, and I appreciate you talking with me about it. Thank you. Thank you for the interview.